Hello, tonight I want to show you how to create a form in JavaFX with JavaFX um, that would swap th form from, from one form to another. So I'm going to show you how it works. So here I've got a form. I'm just quickly going to show you how what it looks like. So um, so basically for this uh, to be useful, it would be better if you already understand JavaFX, that you understand Java and how to create objects and um, how to format your nodes on JavaFX. So this is the form that I'm creating. When I click on login, it swaps over to a different form. It says login, da, da, da. and then when I click on submit, it goes back to the original, where you can, of course, have a different menu or whatever. And now when I click on register, it also swaps to a different form. And when I click submit, it goes back to the original. So that is just what I wanted to show you, and it's extremely easy. So um, my code is here, and um, firstly, in my start in my start method, as what I've done there, I've created my original form. Okay, so this is a grid pane. I'm just using a grid pane. Then I format the grid pane. I add the, text object and I, I format the text object. I add a button, I add another button um, and then I put them onto the scene. The scene contains the grid pane and then that sets the stage and shows the stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two other forms as well. So here I've made a grid pane for my original form but I'm going to make two other grid forms and, uh, and grid panes and each of these grid panes would then uh, be used for the other two forms. So here I've created, okay, first I've created some event handlers for the clear buttons. These event handlers are for the clear button. Here I've created a grid pane. This is my registration form, and I've created a grid pane, which is for my login form. I call the methods that would add all my buttons on it, and then um, I've now got my grid pane with all the buttons formatted on that grid pane and I then create a scene and I add on a different scene the different grid pane. So, And here I've got another scene and it's scene register and it's got my grid pane reg register on it. So effectively I've got three scenes. My first scene is a grid pane and it's called scene scene grid pane and then I've got a grid pane reg and a grid pane login and scene login with grid pane login and scene reg with grid, with grid pane reg and then it's extremely easy once you've got the three forms registered um, then I create um, action but uh, action events so in other words the event handler that I've got here is a lambda style event handler but when I click on the one on one button, the show reg button, that show reg button has got an event handler to it, which is set scene reg. And when I'm on that form, the set scene, the re scene reg, then I click the register button, which would go back to scene. Okay, the clear has got its own event handler. Now, if I've got a button show login, okay, it sets the scene on the stage to scene login and when that form is on and they click on the login button it's going to set the scene to a different scene so you can see here it's extremely easy so um, it's just action buttons of course if you wanted to have more functionality because this was just showing you that you should add a different if creating different scenes and every scene changes when you click on a button so you can create event handlers that will do more. So, for instance, if you click on register, that would take all the form fields in the registration scene and on the submit, it would add it to a database or something. So then you would create a more complex um, event handler here. So in the same way as I've done here. So that is, is, is it's extremely simple. You just, to your button, you say set on action. And you add a scene okay on click 
and that scene contains then a different grid pane that you've prepared just for that for that click and that's all very simple so if you wanted the um, the code you can go to my channel and you can download the code